Well, YSU's first home game is this weekend, and it's today. Kickoff at 2 o'clock, and we know many Penguin fans are going to be tailgating this morning, maybe dealing with some scattered showers, but kickoff going to be overcast. Going to be kicking off at 2 o'clock, 61 degrees for that kickoff, 62 topping off at that temperature around halftime. By the time you're leaving the stadium, probably going to be about 58 degrees for later on. If you are tailgating throughout the morning, getting ready for the game, just have some light jacket with you, maybe even a blanket, and also that rain gear with you. We do have a chance of some scattered showers. But don't be all ready for fall just yet. Summer is still knocking at our door. We do have some warm temperatures that are sticking around for us in my seven-day forecast and beyond. If we take a look at the Climate Prediction Center's temperature outlook, for September 13th to the 17th, which is going to be a week from now, we are seeing above average temperatures for this time of year. So we are going to be tracking that. And in my seven day forecast, I will be showing you how warm it gets. We're going to be seeing summer once again. So maybe an ice pumpkin spice latte is going to be on the forecast for next week. But temperatures right now are in those low to mid 50s. We aren't going to be getting much warmer today either. We're 53 in Cortland, 56 in Hubbard. 54 in Grove City, 56 down into Wellsville. And our dew point temperatures in those low 50s as well. So we're seeing anywhere between 52 to 53, 54 degrees. So something to keep in mind, we will stay at least dry with that. Minus we will, again, just see those scattered and scattered showers, possible rumble of thunder in some of those, but nothing severe that I'm tracking for today. Just going to see some light shower chances possible. Your dew point trend going to stay relatively dry for the next few days when it comes to that humidity level. Going to feel really nice tomorrow. Our dew point temperatures dropping into those mid 40s. Then those will continue to gradually climb into the mid to upper 50s as we go through the next seven days. Viper radar across the region shows that we did have that cold front. That was what tracked through. That's what brought us those showers and storms yesterday. That has now since passed through our area. We do have some of the residual showers coming off of Lake Erie. That's what's going to bring us those scattered showers. That's going to continue to keep our temperatures cool for today and what's going to continue to bring us some of those cloud cover. But then behind it is this high pressure system. That's going to continue to trek its way across the west and then to the east. And then that's going to be across the Buckeye State, keeping us dry here in the valley for at least the next week. I don't expect us to have any sort of shower chances for the next seven days. As we look at future tracker for at least the short term, we are going to see temperatures are only going to climb and struggle to get into the 60s today. As you see, those scattered shower chances will continue through the afternoon, tapering off into the evening. We will see temperatures will drop into the 40s. We will have some break in the clouds overnight as we get into Sunday morning, but then we will see a really big break in the clouds for Sunday afternoon. We will have mostly sunny skies for your Sunday. Temperatures will climb into the mid 60s. And then we will see those temperatures begin to drop into the low 40s once again for your Monday night. So our Sunday night going into Monday. Today, mostly cloudy with the so scattered showers. High is 62, partly cloudy tonight, tapering those showers off. Lows dropping into the 40s, mostly sunny for tomorrow. The rest of your seven-day forecast, mostly sunny skies. We will start climbing back up into the 80s, getting into the mid to upper 80s by the end of your work week.